What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to lay a paper patio. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps throughout the installation process. The pavers we're using here, these are Teco block pavers, which are my go-to for our area. The first step is you need to determine the height of where you want your patio to be. And our height was um, right at, underneath that door over there where you could see the guy digging right there. Um, you, there's a little threshold and a fascia plate. That's where we wanted our patio height to be by the house. So from there we knew we needed to excavate down a minimum of nine inches. And what that nine inches gets you is enough room to put in a six inch base, one inch for your paver bedding and then your pavers which are about two and three eighths of an inch and the pavers will compact down a little bit into the bedding stone so that's what makes it nine inches we actually dug a tiny bit deeper because I like to get our bases closer to seven to eight inches so we went down about a total of ten inches here we're putting down our woven geofabric just need to lay it down and staple it in place Make sure it overlaps at least six inches. Um, we usually overlap more like 12 inches if possible. So now we're getting our stone base put in. We're using three quarter clean stone, which means it has no fine materials. It's basically angular stone, three quarters of an inch. We're gonna be putting it down in, in two lifts, about three or four inches this time. You can see I'm just spreading it out with the excavator and then Jim there he's he's raking it out getting it pretty level now we're compacting the first lift we run this compactor back and forth about three times left and right um, up and down and then diagonally and then I actually use a hand tamperer to hit some of the edges now I'm putting in the second lift this lift is more crucial than the first, meaning you need to have it, you need to have your height right. You know, from here, this lift needs to be three inches, or actually a little bit closer, I would say within about two and a half inches of what you want your final paver grade to be. Same deal, spreading it out, raking it. You see that blue level there, we're also checking our pitch. We're doing that with the grade rod and the laser level as well, but with that level, it's, it's easy to see. We, we've pitched it all towards the corner where the excavator's sitting right now. And then again, we do compaction three directions. Left, right, up and down horizontally. Now it's time for our paper uh, screening bed. We use three-quarter chip stone here. I'm sorry, three-eighths chip stone. There's two different types of paver bases you could be using for this installation. One is what we did here, which is considered an open grade. Uh, the other is the conventional way, which is three quarter modified with concrete sand. Now I'm starting to get the pavers laid. And now I'll go back to that. You saw I had the pipes laid in there. Basically I lay the pipes down, I make sure they're level, make sure it's pitched the right way. We dump the uh, chip stone over it and then we screed it down with the level. And we just move down, do the whole patio, and then we pull the pipes. As we pull the pipes, we fill in the grooves that are left, you know, either by hand or with the shovel. And then I use, a, I use a mag float to smooth it all out. And you can see I keep the mag float next to me the entire time when I'm laying pavers. So if I see an area you know, that doesn't look flat, it's a little lumpy, a little low, Whatever the case may be, I, I smooth it out as I go. This patio is 20 by 14, which is 280 square feet. It's just over two pallets of pavers. That's not too bad to lay down with two guys in one day. You see, now we're putting in the edging strips. We put in 10 inch spikes or 12 inch spikes every foot. Once all the edging's in, I do the first compaction here. And this compacts the pavers into the chipstone a little bit. And then I brush in the first layer of poly sand. I'm going to fill all the joints to the top with poly sand. And then I'm going to run the compactor over the pavers again. And this will ensure that the poly sand makes its way all the way to the bottom of the joint. 
After the poly sand's compacted in, you'll just have to sweep in a little bit more to make sure you get the poly sand up to the beveled edge on your pavers. You want to sweep off any excess before you activate the poly sand. I always go over the pavers with the blower real lightly to get it excess off and then I just spray it with water to activate it. The only thing that's left is to backfill the edges and the paver patio is complete. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.